Hey Libra, just a quickie for March. Save the best for last, right? Straight away we have an offer, very fiery offer, a very quick offer, the Ace of Wands. I did get um, are you ready? So I don't know what that means. We have are you ready for the unknown as we have the unknown card and the star card the unknown card is something that you're not meant to see yet um, I do get with those three cards that um, it's something good coming in that you're not seeing yet as it is the star card an Aquarius card may happen in spring may have been something you're wishing for you may be healing at the moment and um, Maybe you'll be fully healed in spring. This is something that you're not supposed to know yet. But I feel from the cards it's um, a good surprise that's on the way. It's funny enough, I just said, the message was, are you ready? Everybody's ready for good things to happen. Even the bad things are good things disguised sometimes. I know it don't feel like it at the time, trust me. I just went through a tower moment in August. So I know at the time it does not feel like it. <laughs> and I'm glad this reading is looking much better as the last one. Um, wasn't so great for Libra. doesn't want to give us any more cards. Maybe you're not supposed to know what the surprise is going to be. Try not to bang the cards hard on the table as I used to watch when I was oops, in bed. Too many cards. One fell out before that. Ace of Swords. So are you ready for the truth? Are you ready to take your energy, the Libra energy, air energy, take this sword, use it? Two aces in the reading, very positive. Aces are always positive. We have the hangman. And this is needed to look at things from a different point of view. I feel like you will be seeing things from a different point of view when after the Ace of Swords, after the truth, you will then be seeing things from a different point of view. After you find the enlightenment, that's when you'll find out what you're supposed to know with the unknown card. We have the Hierophant reversed. Um, maybe after this truth you will um, be a different person. Um, as the Hierophant speaks of tradition. Um, so. Maybe it's a breakdown of a marriage, but um, there's something you're not seeing, something positive. Or maybe there'll be a positive outcome after a divorce. Um, 
Maybe you're changing religion. Maybe you feel like you've lost hope. Um, maybe it's again speaking to maybe seeking out the divine as it's next to the hangman that's upside down. Well, he's hanging upside down. So both of these people are upside down. So maybe you're not seeing that um, someone is not acting the right way up. Could be a Taurus, as the Hierophant is a Taurus. Again, unfortunately, unfortunately for the Libra, the three of swords, speaking of heartbreak, the nine of pentacles, speaking of being single. If all this message is not for you, then just take little bits of it, which is for you. Um, the Nine of Pentacles is being um, very secure, money-wise, standing on your own two feet, looking good, feeling good, living the single life, living your truth. Maybe if you've been single a long time and you've been lonely, you'll be um, finding somebody new in the spring, maybe. Maybe that's what's unknown to you. The Three of Swords. Um, I feel like this is definitely um, a truth, a heartbreaking truth that you've found out. And we have the Three of Pentacles, um, two threes. seven of pentacles at the bottom um, it may speak of a third party situation it may speak of working um, with somebody at the moment on a creative project the deception card in the present position and forgiving and learning in the past situation so I feel maybe you've already forgiven somebody over and over so it's now time to learn if somebody keeps doing it they're probably going to keep doing it and the deception if it's not a third party situation maybe it's to stop deceiving yourself as it landed on the hangman look take a look at things from a different point of view it says someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moments and again healing family issues and at the bottom of the deck free yourself Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Um, I feel like this is um, habits that we learn as children or things that we learn about how to love as we're growing. And you may be holding a grudge against your parents or something. And... Um, I think maybe the forgiveness and learning, maybe your forgiveness should lay there and understand as parents, we all do our best. We'll just get three more advice cards and then we're done. Because I only wanted it to be a quick video. I wanted it a bit to be a better video for Libras, but... 
It is what it is. What will be, will be. Three of springs. So another three. It says plan your next step with the eye to the long term. Have patience. There are more good things to come. Satisfaction from a job well done. Or two. Seven of Springs and the Two of Summers. At the bottom of this, the Four of Autumn. Um, the Two of Springs telling you to plan for the future. And um, the Seven of Springs telling you to be assertive. Stand your ground. If somebody's causing you this by doing this, stand up for yourself. Look at things from a different point of view. It's not so bad being single. Um, even if you feel like it's this, the Two of Cups, um, falling in love and making a serious commitment, forgiveness and resolution a problem, don't give up. So um, even if you feel like this relationship was meant to be, um, the Two of Cups is also about decision making. So you can choose to heal but you need to actually do the work and heal yourself and that's like learning your worth and not being walked over you still have to stand your ground for it to work out <sighs> I wish it could be better for you Libra um, maybe next time and I really probably need a Libra to help me look good because Libras always look fantastic and I'm just out here on YouTube looking crazy. <laughs> Thanks for watching, bye.